Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I am your host, Alex, and you are watching FCOD Gaming. Now, uh, in this particular Mod Spotlight, we are covering the Upgrade Planner. Um, as always, we're going to put a link to, to it in the description. And, uh, yeah, so basically what this mod does is, in, let's say, I've got this little iron setup here. And I want to upgrade it because it's going way too slow. It's got just normal transport belts, normal inserters, stone furnaces, that whole deal. Um, now in the vanilla game, you would have to, you know, grab a different type of belt and come down here and click and drag, all that. And then we'd have to go come over here, upgrade the furnaces, upgrade the inserters, all that good stuff. But in this mod, as long as you have logistics bots, or construction bots, I'm sorry, as long as you have construction bots and a construction network, uh, you can use the upgrade planner, which is just like uh, the deconstruction planner and the blueprint, uh, at least in its recipe. It's under, uh, where is it? At? Production upgrade planner. So one advanced circuit, just like the rest of these. And once you have one of those, you go up to your Upgrade Planner tab up here. And basically you set parameters uh, for what you want upgraded and what you want it upgraded to. So, uh, as you see here, I've got quite a few things set up. Um, normal transport belt to fast transport belt, fast transport belt to express belt, inserter, fast inserter, so on and so forth. I've also got the splitters and the underground belts in there. Um, you can also save these. So let's just call this um, basic belts. Sure. So you can have different parameters here depending on what you're setting up, So, which is very useful. And so let's see this in action here. Let's get out of this, which admittedly that that tab's a little bit clunky, but, uh, but yeah. let's uh, go ahead and put this belt in here again. And so what we'll do is basically you just click and drag, just like you would with a deconstruction planner or a construction planner. We're going to click and drag over all this stuff as well. And our construction bots are going to come along, and anything that I flagged in this tab to be upgraded, they're going to take, put into storage, which is, this is my little storage area here, and uh, they're going to replace it with what I have told it to replace it with. Now, it is a little buggy. Um, as you can see here, I think I forgot to replace these, but uh, yeah, as you can see here, it got a little bit confused and it, it looks like it just kind of just doesn't put anything in there, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, yeah, that's a thing that happens. I think it might have something to do with me being impatient and not letting one run of upgrades go through before I do the other run of upgrades, because I tend to click and drag multiple times. And so that, that might be just an error on my part uh, for my style of gameplay. But, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just upgrade these to express belts as well. So we'll do that. I'm going to be a good boy and wait this time. There we go. We'll just come through here, flag all these belts to be upgraded. Now one thing that you do have to keep in mind is when these uh, logistics bots take this stuff, they do take whatever's on the belt. So in this case, when I was testing this, um, I ended up with a ton of iron ore that I didn't have going anywhere necessarily, because I have it all set up to be on belts. So I actually turned these to requester chests, and as these get a little bit lower, 
um, any iron ore that's in storage should get thrown into there. But, uh, but yeah. So, what does this look like on a grander scale? Let's say, well, we'll come over here because I actually have a bit in this factory that needs to be upgraded. Let's say I want to upgrade this copper line because it's not really keeping up. Now I realize that it's it's because of the furnaces, but uh, but yeah, let's upgrade everything to fast transport belts all the way into my blue science factory. So we'll get get that going on. And hopefully, this will finish up sometime. I don't know what it's waiting for. Oh, just that last belt to be removed. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't want to upgrade that fast one. Look at these. Might as well do this one while I'm at it. Come down here. Let's go to here. That seems like a good spot to stop here. We can come down here and kind of uh, take care of these two. I think the main thing that causes this to bug out is if you flag a tile twice, at least from my experience. I might be wrong on that. But that seems to be what bugs it out the most. So those are all fast inserters. Let's go ahead and get up to here. And eventually it'll <laughs> kind of do its thing here. Come up there with it. So that should be my main copper and iron bus line. All upgraded when everything's said and done. I don't know where it's trying to get a bot from from here. You do run into some interesting problems with with this stuff just because you have things like this where it takes 20 minutes to get one thing replaced and it's just frustrating because you're like, where the hell is this bot at? I bet they're all trying to recharge somewhere. Probably is what's going on. Probably got a little bit too overzealous with this one. I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna gonna prove that I can do it all automated. But uh, but yeah, typically it doesn't take this long. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Oops. Well, it did its job. I just had a bad click. Okay. So there's that. So this entire thing is upgraded now. So it should do a better job of keeping up. I realize that I don't have quite enough copper production to keep it full, but, uh, but that's more a design flaw than an upgrade flaw. So yeah, that should be about it for this mod spotlight. So if you have any other questions for me on this, uh, feel free to, to drop me a comment and I will be happy to answer any questions you guys might have. Um, I'm, as I said, I'm going to link to the forum post on this mod. 
And uh, if you guys want to play around with it yourself, you are more than welcome to. I'm sure the developer of the mod will not have any problems with that. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to take care of yourselves out there. And thanks for watching.